Welcome, Jose. Thank you so much for having this conversation today with me about yourself, your composer, and your involvement with the Composer Conference this year. Um, I wanted to get started if you could just tell us who you are, um, where you are, what you're doing right now, and um, yeah, so tell us a little, little bit about yourself to get us started off. Uh, hi, Carton. Thanks a lot for, for the interview. Um, well, I, I am from Buenos Aires, in the capital of Argentina. I, I am living here, but I am originally from Rio Negro State in the south of the country. Uh, I, I lived my old childhood there um, until the 18 years in between a farm in the outside of Chulechuel town and in the last years in high school in, in the town, which is a 10,000 uh, people city. Um, I, st I, I began also my studies there, but I can tell you a little later. Um, but I, yes, I am. And, and in, this, uh, in these times, I, I, I try to keep in this moment, keep, keep focus on composing. Fortunately, there are new projects that appear slowly after the first months where there was nothing. Uh, also, I am giving some lessons, but uh, online lessons in, in Zoom. Mm -hmm. I private uh, lessons um, and uh, not not too much. I, I also orga organize a, a festival. It's called the Tista Terra Festival. It's a Biennal, and uh, we decided to move it for next year. This year we we have uh, the fourth edition already. And uh, yeah, I'm trying to keep moving with all all these things. Right. Uh, and mm -hmm. how did you get started in music? Well, I, in, in my family, there are, there are no musicians or artists. All came from more for humanities and uh, sociology and, yeah, it's humanities. And, and my brothers also uh, study uh, physics and, you know, hard science. I am the first uh, artist in, in a big line of other disciplines. And I... And in my town, there is no conservatory and no new university. Now there is uh, finally one and with the veterinaria. Uh, mm -hmm. um, I studied with a private lesson of guitar. I was uh, very lucky to have a good teacher who I studied also first with rock. I, I love uh, progressive rock and symphonic rock. I was fanatic of Shetro Tool, Pink Floyd, Pink Crimson, oh, yes. <laughs> and all this. <laughs> And also cl classic rock and and being a teenager, I I discovered that I really liked this. I was a fanatic of David Gilmour, and I wanted to play all his solos. And and yeah, and I I only started with that, but I also start, started to uh, to learn classic guitar. And after that, I moved, uh, having 19 years, to to La Plata. It's uh, the second big city uh, in the area of Buenos Aires. Mm -hmm. And I studied in the university there with Mariano Etkin and Cecilia Villanueva, two big composers here in, in Latin America. And I was very lucky to, to find them. And, and, but at the same time, I, I played as a um, performer in different ensembles. I also had my groups of uh, fusion and rock and other things, which uh, where I always w was a composer in these groups. And, um, yeah, the more or less is, is that I make some studies uh, in conducting, but very, very few, very small ones. Um, and in, in a big part, uh, yeah, I, it was a half self throat from my childhood to, to university studies. I, I love architect also, especially the, the new parametric architects and digital fabrications. I am very fascinated with machines that can help to develop very complex forms. And, and I also love the literature and many things. And I was, was involved with the different projects with this. Yeah, but it's, it's because of all the things that I I interested, I want to be there uh, also trying to to do the, the same that I like. Uh, mm -hmm. I don't know if I say it well in English, but sorry. Right, right, right. So 
you have a lot of these outside interests as well, it sounds like. So literature and architecture and maybe even AI, artificial intelligence for generating, you know, these very complex structures for architecture. Is there anything in particular, it can be pretty general or it can be pretty specific, that sort of drives you as a creative artist, that drives you maybe specifically as a composer or more generally just as a creative person? Well, I am very interested in, in the creation of himself. I, for me, it's a big mystery. Still today, I, I think that I even know less anything that I try to, to but to develop a, a new piece or, 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 or by reading or studying, uh, I, I am each day more in the darkness <laughs> with this thing. I, it's like uh, the reason of why I, I write music is uh, for me it's a very rational thing. It's a impulse, a primitive impulse that we don't know exactly. Uh, uh, not not in the terms of the dry theory of uh, psychoanalysis. I think it's more like a batile, uh, like in this connection between the impulse of creation and the pulse of, impulse of death. Uh, I I really don't know exactly how it works, but for me. For, for, for example, here in, I don't want to say Latin America, but in Argentina, at least I can say a little more that we have many theories of, especially in universities, that, that there is a lot of speech about the, the social function of the composer and the artist, and which for me, to be honest, is uh, are a little fascist. <laughs> or very, <laughs> um, uh, this idea that, that, that comes from the state, you know, very, very pragmatic and functional. And, I prefer more psychoanalysis or uh -huh. psychology or philosophy that for me is a, is a mystery. I write because I have the need of write, but uh, because I feel bad when I, if I don't write, I feel the emptiness of this as a negative thing. But when I write, I feel like many composers, I feel bad also when I write. <laughs> I feel it's, it's not, um, uh, well, maybe some composers like it, but I, I'm talking with many colleagues. Uh, we always say that it's a, you know, it's a hard process also to, to sure. write, and it's a kind of sadomasochism uh, connection. <laughs> um, but why I write, uh, I really can, can tell you. Yeah, I think that this, uh, for me, it's more connected with the, maybe this sounds a little pretentious, but uh, with a connection with the dead, I have a sensual attraction to, to the dead. My, my music is quite melancholic and dark. Uh, in the process of creation, there is also some sacrifice. Uh, you lost something when, when you do something, one part of you also uh, is sacrificed to, to something that we don't know. I am not religious, and I, but uh, I think there is something sure. very primi primitive in the psychology of our beings that uh, some part of us uh, burns when we create, I don't know. When you make something, it's almost like you are trying to infuse life into this inanimate, inanimacy. Yeah. And you're, I mean, you're basically trying to work against the obliteration, you know, in opposition yeah. to obliteration. No, it's, I am very, very, in many ways, maybe it's a kind of fight against, it's like in the seven seal of, uh, of uh, Bergman, when you play chess with the dead, you, you want to have an impulse of, of life in the, in the middle of this macabre dance, I don't know. Maybe you want to, to put the life there all the time to prove something. <laughs> sure. Uh, but again, maybe I move it to my interest. Uh, also, <laughs> I like to conceive the music. Uh, that is maybe more concrete about the process, not why I uh, write, but why, uh, what things I write. I, I also like to, to work all the time with the, uh, to try to, not to represent, but to evocate many aspects of humanity. I, I like the idea of a piece as a big museum, not as exposition, but like a, a body made of many parts. I like to evocate my interests, um, like, like literature or visual arts, uh, but also other music. I work with music of the past, right. from Berlioz Schumann to Arthur Tillier, Solash or Gesualdo Monteverdi or Mozart in the last uh, pieces I I work in a lot of with the 
the second movement of the con concerto number 23 uh, and, and music that I like in the moment. Be before in the last years was Schubert. <laughs> there is a writer which I love a lot, which is uh, Borges. And he's, he has this humanistic approach yes. to art, that, uh, this, this theory that at the end all is connected. Or each, each parameter is connected with another and, and you have all in, in all. And maybe I try to do this. I try to, for me, present, past, and future is not important. It's an illusion of our perception. And when I write music, I, I try to work with these preconcepts of what is contemporary or what is not. For me, music is music, and I write what I want to write. And mm -hmm. I put when the, the things that I, I am interested in. Is there anything that's sort of outside of music, that's sort of non-musical, that is really important to you and somehow um, contributes to your creative life or maybe not contributes to your creative life, just sort of, you know, something that's um, not musical? In fact, I, I think mo um, most of my interests are uh, not necessarily musical. I mean, music is, is the main, but... Uh, Mm. But I, I love other things at the same level, and, but they change all the time. In, mm. each, each year I am interested in different things, and, but, uh, but, but again, literature is, is maybe one of the main ones. Uh, and now it's architect, architect because I don't, I don't know too much. I am learning all the time. <laughs> they also, ca calligraphy is something that I, I love a lot. Uh, I, I am self strode but I, I all the time trying to practice calligraphy and I have my pens you know, all the time everywhere. <laughs> in, do, you, do you do calligraphy that's um, just for the sake of writing? Is it design? Yeah. Oh, wow. No, just for writing. And I practice even just like when, like scales and and our patient, let's say, I, I have a patient all with letter A, V, C, and like in the school. But yeah, if, of course, with, I remember. But, but with different types uh, of uh, different types of letters all the time. And, and it's just for, for me, it's a, like a meditation or a contemplation. Uh, and for, and I, yeah, I, I love to, to do things that have a, uh, that very small, so. but it's again, I think it's more like a contemplative thing. Well, thank you so much for having this conversation. I appreciate it. Oh, to you, Kurt, and th thanks a lot for, for all, also for all the conference, which is marvelous. My pleasure.